Good morning. It's Tuesday, December the 3rd, and this is The Drill. Thank you. Today, true conservatives don't answer stupid questions. The left wants to act like children but demand that they be treated like adults, and mission statements lead to anarchy. All that when I come back. Thank you and welcome back. True conservatives don't answer stupid questions. Stupid questions are those questions that a person knows or should know the answer to. The left likes to frustrate, confuse, and trick the right. And one way that they do that is by asking stupid questions. Whenever one of the socialists in your life asks a stupid question, you should tell them that it is a stupid question and that you're not going to answer it. Another way of handling the stupid question is to ask the lefty, you mean you don't know? And when they answer no, you reply, then when are you going to figure it out? When I come back, socialists want to have their cake and eat it too. Thank you, thank you. Socialists want to act like children but be treated as adults. If you listen carefully to the average socialist when they speak, they should remind you of people that you met in the seventh grade. The more time, they spend more time trying to provoke you than they try, uh, spend trying to communicate. They spend a lot of time being willfully ignorant, pretending to misunderstand. Left-wing subjectivism is childish. Children are subjectivist and appropriately so. Children may even be said to be narcissistic. And it could be said that we are all born narcissists, but most of us grow out of it. When I come back, mission statements lead to anarchy. Thank you. Mission statements lead to anarchy. The United States military has mission statements and that is appropriate, for obvious reasons. Other branches of the federal government should not have mission statements, because those mission statements will be the higher priority for these branches instead of following the Constitution and obeying the lawful orders of the President of the United States. This is why the President is finding it so difficult to get loyalty from his subordinates. In addition, one may notice that businesses have mission statements. This may not lead to anarchy, but it is still self-destructive because the focus of the business is on the mission statement and not on the customer. Back in a minute. Thank you very much. In conclusion, I've explained why true conservatives don't answer stupid questions demonstrated the similarities between socialists and junior high school students, and shown the folly of mission statements. Who is the true conservative? He is the person that understands that conservatism is not just about politics, but culture as well. He is not selfish, but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He is patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with absolute certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He's open-minded, asking why, rather than why not. He is consistent, credible, and influential, not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He is a normal American, and he's better than the socialist. He's a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you don't know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best, then you are wasting your time. And that brings me to the conclusion of another episode of The Drill. Remember that the left has no authority, no power, and they can't win. Think about it.